Hi, I'm Keith Krieger, Program Director for Computer Applications Training at JCCC. And today we have some tools, tips, and techniques to help you do your work with common computer applications every day. We'll take a look at a couple of sheet and tab label tools here in Excel that you might find useful in organizing your workbooks. And we have, by default, three sheet tabs down at the bottom. And I can go into the options for Excel and change the number of sheets that automatically are generated when I open a new workbook. We also know that we can change the names of the sheets. That is, if I simply double click a sheet tab, Excel highlights the name of the sheet, and I simply put my hands on the keyboard and start typing. When I press enter, it captures the name of that sheet tab. The other way, particularly if I'm wanting to highlight information for other users who may not be as familiar with the content as I might be, I might want to color code the tabs, make a consolidated sheet tab stand out so that people go to that one first. If I right click a sheet tab, we have a number of different items that we can use to modify the tab, but you'll notice we have a real simple one here called Tab Color, and it brings up Office's default color tab, and we can see that we get a highlight on the tab. It doesn't completely color it, but simply puts that color highlighting at the bottom edge of the tab so that we can still read the text on the tab, but for our users that we're providing this information to, they can very quickly scan and find that, particularly if we have a number of sheets. Another possibility when we're doing multiple sheet work is to add the same content to every sheet in the same location. So as an example, I have the cursor selected up here in B1, and what I want to accomplish here is put the same content in B1 on all three sheets. So in order to do so, I'm going to hold the shift key down, and I'm going to click the additional sheets. You'll notice that those sheet tabs turn white to note that they are selected, and now anything that I do in the sheet will be replicated in the exact same location as the others. So there's nothing in B1 on the other sheets, but if I now type this in B1 on sheet 1 and add something there, let's say that we're going to have additional fiscal years on the other sheets. I'm going to leave the rest of that open. And now that content has been added to the additional sheets. What I have to be careful of here is knowing that when sheets are selected in that way, anything I do will be replicated across all the sheets. So I need to deselect the sheet so we don't have that happen. And to do so, I just single click a sheet tab. You'll notice now that same content has been added in B1 and B2 on the other sheets very quick and easy way to lay out consistent information in, across sheets. The final thing is an Office tool or a Windows tool in general, and I may want to refer back to this sheet on a regular basis, or this workbook or this file. And instead of saving it and then having to navigate back to that location every time, I can, number one, come down here to the Windows taskbar where I find the button for the Excel program. If I hover over it, I get a thumbnail, but if I right click it, I can choose pin this item to the taskbar. And now that item will show up across restarts. If you'd prefer, I could right click, find my recently used file. And you'll notice that if I hover over it, I get a push pin, and now that file is pinned to that right-click menu. That way I can have Excel open, but I also have quick access to that one file if I need it without always seeing it. 
So I think those three things will help you move through your work in Excel much more quickly, help you find things much more quickly, and help users find the information they need when they're looking at your work. We trust you found the tips and tools techniques in these videos to be helpful in something you can put to use almost immediately. We know that these are things that can be shared easily and we encourage you to share them with your colleagues and your friends. Post them to Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn for other people to take advantage of. And if you like, we'd be happy to send you the notes of the tools and techniques that we've shown you here today. Please feel free to send us a message at the address on the screen and we'll get those right out to you. Thanks.